Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch our reimagined Governor State Employee Medal of Valor Award Ceremony. My name is Irina Ortega, Director of the Department of Human Resources. I'm very pleased to introduce Secretary David S. Kim from the Transportation Agency to read the citations for their state employees whose heroic acts and service are worthy of our celebration. Thank you. I have the distinct honor to share with you the citations for my agency's state employees' heroic actions. Each awardee went above and beyond the call of duty to save the lives of others, and although all were very aware of the dangers involved, they did not hesitate to act. Let me begin with our first citation. On June 18, 2017, at approximately 2.51 p.m., Golden Gate Communication Center broadcasted a crash involving a box truck, which had crashed into a light pole and tree. California Highway Patrol Officer Michael Basil arrived on scene and found several occupants trapped inside the box truck with the driver and passenger doors jammed shut. Additionally, dry foliage, a tree, and the truck's tires were all on fire. California Highway Patrol Officer Nan Mai and California Highway Patrol Sergeant Thomas Byington also arrived on scene and immediately began to assist with the situation. Sergeant Byington ran to assist Officer Basil, while Officer Mai retrieved a fire extinguisher from the patrol vehicle. Officer Mai attempted to put out the fire, but the fire extinguisher malfunctioned. Sergeant Byington advised the Golden Gate Communication Center that the truck was on fire and requested all available units to respond with fire extinguishers to the scene. Officer Mai rolled down the driver's side window so the driver could climb out and walk away from the burning truck to safety. Officer Mai and Officer Basil attempted to enter the truck through the passenger side door to rescue the other passengers, but they were unable to pull the door open. Sergeant Byington assisted the officers and used his strength and size to help force open the passenger door. The cab was now full of smoke and visibility was low. Inside, one passenger was bleeding and pinned against the dash. Officer Basil reached into the cab and with the help of Sergeant Byington, freed the passenger and dragged him to safety. Officer Mai observed the front seat passenger reaching out for help, but was unable to pull the passenger out on his own. Officer Basil returned to the truck to assist Officer Mai and together they were able to pull the passenger out to safety. Officer Mai then climbed into the truck and found another passenger unconscious, slumped over the center console, and trapped between the driver and passenger front seats. Officer Mai pushed the seat with his legs, while Sergeant Byington and Officer Basil pulled on the seat from the outside. They were able to free the passenger and drag her to safety. Once again, Officer Mai entered the burning truck and found another passenger on the floorboard behind the driver's seat. The passenger was unable to move his leg, which was bleeding and pinned by various objects. Officer Mai began pushing the furniture and other items away to try and free the passenger. Officer Basil also entered the truck to help. The officers were able to pull the passenger out through the passenger side door and drag him to safety. All the passengers were successfully removed from the burning truck and received medical treatment. With no regard for their own safety, Officer Basil and Officer Mai went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to California Highway Patrol Officers Michael Basil and Nan Mai. On June 19, 2019, at approximately 6 p.m., California Highway Patrol Officer Michael Penlilio responded to a request for assistance from the Sacramento Police Department. The Sacramento Police Department advised that Officer Tara O'Sullivan had been shot and was lying in the backyard of a residence. Attempts to rescue her were met with gunfire by the barricaded suspect. Without hesitation, Officer Panlilio responded to the scene and began to work with other officers to actively assess the situation. The gravity of the situation became apparent as officers realized the suspect was using a high-powered rifle capable of penetrating any department-issued ballistic vest material. The suspect was shooting from an elevated position 
while obscured behind the walls of his home and was using security cameras to monitor the exact positions of on-scene law enforcement personnel. Any attempt to rescue Officer O'Sullivan would expose officers to a life-threatening risk of being shot by the barricaded suspect. Despite the obvious and extreme danger, Officer Panlulio made the decision to leave his position of safety and joined the effort to rescue Officer O'Sullivan, taking cover behind an armored vehicle. The armored vehicle came under fire as it breached the backyard fence and made its way to a location between the gunman and Officer O'Sullivan. Officer O'Sullivan was loaded into the armored vehicle, but as the armored vehicle was retreating from the backyard, it became disabled while still in the line of fire of the barricaded gunman. Officer Panlilio not only understood the immediate need to get Officer O'Sullivan to the hospital, he was also aware of the vulnerable situation they now faced due to the disabled vehicle. Officer Panlilio lifted Officer O'Sullivan with the assistance of Sacramento County Sheriff's Deputy Richard Nielsen and carried her across 30 feet of open ground to an awaiting Sacramento Police Department patrol vehicle. During the rescue carry to the patrol vehicle, the gunman was firing rifle rounds at Officer Penlilio and Deputy Nielsen. Once inside the patrol vehicle, Officer Penlilio took control of the situation and directed the driver to drive to the UC Davis Medical Center. During the transport, Officer Penlilio used his advanced medical training as he guided Deputy Nielsen to help him perform two-man cardiopulmonary resuscitation. He continuously provided verbal encouragement to Deputy Nielsen and the driver. Officer Panlilio's actions during this rescue effort were truly that of a selfless individual. His ability to maintain focus while voluntarily placing himself in the crosshairs of danger demonstrates a true act of valor. With no regard for his own safety, Officer Panlilio went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the gold medal of valor to California Highway Patrol Officer Michael Penlilio. On October 7, 2018, at approximately 4 p.m., California Highway Patrol Officer Alexander Sterling received a radio call of a possible jumper on the Pacific Highway overcrossing above Interstate 5. Upon arriving on scene, Officer Sterling observed a man walking on the right shoulder of the Pacific Highway overcrossing. San Diego Police Department Officer Curtis Bryant also responded to the scene. As Officer Sterling approached the man in his patrol vehicle, the man ran down an embankment onto northbound Interstate 5 and began walking into the traffic lanes and into the path of oncoming vehicles. Officer Sterling initiated a traffic break to slow oncoming traffic and prevent the man from being struck. Both officers then used their patrol vehicles to try and stop the man, but he ran around the patrol vehicles and failed to respond to their commands. Suddenly, the man darted towards the bridge railing and Officer Sterling immediately exited his patrol vehicle and pursued him on foot. As the man jumped over the guardrail, Officer Sterling grabbed a hold of the man's left ankle and then braced himself against the guardrail. Officer Sterling grabbed a hold of the man's left shoulder, attempting to pull him back over the guardrail. The man struggled against Officer Sterling's grip, flailing and pushing against the guardrail. Although Officer Sterling began feeling a sharp pain in his left arm, he managed to hold on to the man even as he dangled and flailed precariously 25 feet above the westbound lane of Friars Road under crossing. Officer Bryant also exited his patrol vehicle and ran to assist Officer Sterling. Moments later, San Diego Police Department Sergeant Jason Suey responded to assist and all three were able to pull the man over the bridge railing to safety. The man was taken into custody and transported to the county mental health facility where he was admitted for psychiatric evaluation. Due to his rescue efforts, Officer Sterling sustained an injury to his left arm and required significant treatment. With no regard for his own safety, Officer Sterling went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting this silver medal of valor to California Highway Patrol Officer Alexander Sterling. On August 3, 2019, at approximately 12.59 a.m., California Highway Patrol Officer Sean Connor and Officer William Dunn were assisting at the scene of a crash on southbound Interstate 5, south of Via, California. Officers Connor and Dunn suddenly heard a loud crash and saw a large fireball dissipating into the air on the opposite side of the freeway. Both officers immediately responded to the scene. Upon his arrival, 
Officer Dunn heard another loud explosion and saw that a white vehicle crashed into a guardrail. The vehicle had landed on its left side and the front end was fully engulfed in flames. Officer Dunn quickly re retrieved the fire extinguisher from the patrol vehicle and ran toward the flames. As he approached, Officer Dunn heard a woman screaming from inside the vehicle. Officer Dunn utilized the fire extinguisher to attack the flames, but due to the fire's intensity, the fire extinguisher was ineffective. Officer Connor and his partner provided a traffic break to slow vehicle traffic and arrived on scene shortly after Officer Dunn arrived. Seeing the dangerous circumstances, Officer Dunn climbed onto the guardrail, utilized his baton, and broke open the right rear window. Officer Connor also climbed onto the guardrail and helped open the right front window. Both Officers Dunn and Connor could hear screaming coming from inside the vehicle, but due to the thick smoke and poor lighting, neither officer could find the woman inside. Officer Connor broke open the glass sunroof, and despite the thick smoke and intense heat from the fire, he reached into the burning vehicle, located the woman, and pulled her out. Orange County Fire Authority arrived on scene, extinguished the fire, and transported the woman to the hospital with minor injuries and smoke inhalation. Officer Connor placed himself in extreme danger and risked his life to save the woman from certain death. With no regard for his own safety, Officer Connor went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the gold medal of valor to California Highway Patrol Officer Sean Connor. On September 13th, 2019, at approximately 12.47 a.m., California Highway Patrol Officers Matthew Frateroli and Wesley Tom were dispatched to a commercial vehicle crash on Interstate 5 in the city of Anaheim. The truck tractor and trailer were on fire and bystanders advised the officers that the driver of the truck tractor was trapped inside the burning wreckage. Officer Frateroli saw the truck driver apparently unconscious within the burning wreckage. Officer Frateroli used a fire extinguisher to combat the flames surrounding him. Both Officer Frateroli and Officer Tom climbed into the wreckage to try and pull the victim out of the burning vehicle. Officer Tom used a knife to cut the driver's seat belt, and with Officer Frateroli's help, the officers were able to pull the driver free from the burning wreckage. In total, it took the officers nearly two minutes to free the driver from the burning wreckage while the fire grew around them. Officers Frateroli and Tom dragged the driver away from the burning truck to a safe distance as the truck became totally engulfed in flames. Local fire and rescue provided medical care and transport to a nearby hospital. With no regard for their own safety, officers Frateroli and Tom went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to California Highway Patrol officers Matthew Frateroli and Wesley Tom. On February 19th, 2020, at approximately 6.28 p.m., California Highway Patrol Officer Deontay Hall conducted an enforcement stop on a sports car for multiple traffic violations. The sports car pulled to the right shoulder and stopped. As Officer Hall exited the patrol vehicle and approached the sports car, the driver fled. Officer Hall quickly returned to his patrol vehicle, advised the Los Angeles Communication Center, and immediately initiated a pursuit. Officer Hall briefly lost sight of the car and observed traffic ahead rapidly slowing and noticed a crash had recently occurred. Upon arrival, Officer Hall observed the sports car and two other vehicles had been involved in a crash. Due to the sports car's unsafe speed and unsafe passing on the right shoulder to elude Officer Hall, it crashed into the right side of the first vehicle, continued straight, and crashed into the rear of the second vehicle. This impact caused the driver of the second vehicle to lose control and crash into the center divider wall. Officer Hall quickly detained the driver and passenger of the sports car. Officer Hall suddenly observed one of the vehicles catch fire with the driver still inside and unresponsive. The flames were rapidly spreading throughout the vehicle, but Officer Hall could not open the locked driver's side door. Officer Hall used his baton to break the driver's side window, reached inside to cut the seat belt and pulled the driver out of the burning vehicle. Passing motorists helped move the unresponsive driver to safety. The vehicle was fully engulfed in flames in less than 45 seconds. Los Angeles County Fire Department personnel arrived on scene and extinguished the vehicle fire. 
The driver was transported to a nearby hospital with multiple injuries. Officer Hall suffered a minor injury to his right hand as a result of breaking the window to gain access to the burning vehicle. Officer Hall placed himself in extreme danger and risked his life to save the injured driver from certain death. With no regard for his own safety, Officer Hall went above and beyond the call of duty. The State of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to California Highway Patrol Officer Deontay Hall. On August 30th, 2019, at approximately 2.16 p.m., California Highway Patrol Officer Aaron Maurer was driving his patrol vehicle to a local school to attend a bicycle helmet safety workshop. A Ridgecrest police officer was traveling in a separate patrol vehicle to the same safety workshop. On the way there, both officers observed a large plume of black smoke coming from a nearby residence and stopped to investigate the situation. As they neared the residence, they called out asking if anyone was inside. They both heard a weak voice coming from inside the residence pleading for help. The officers ran to the front door but could not open the locked door. Officer Maurer used his baton to break a window in the door to try and gain access to the residence but was unsuccessful. Two Ridgecrest residents also stopped to assist the officers. One of the residents successfully kicked the door open and was immediately met with thick black smoke and intense heat. Officer Maurer got down on his hands and knees and entered the house. With less than 12 inches of visibility, he crawled toward the occupant's voice but was overcome by the thick smoke and had to quickly exit the residence for fresh air. Officer Maurer re-entered the residence on his hands and knees and was able to see the occupant's white socks and the wheel of his wheelchair approximately six feet inside the residence. Officer Maurer, a Ridgecrest police officer, and the two residents entered the house to find a middle-aged man who was confined to an electric wheelchair and unable to move. They tried to push the wheelchair toward the exit, but they were unable to move it due to its weight. Officer Maurer and two others tried to pull the man out of the wheelchair, but they quickly realized the man was bound to the wheelchair with a seatbelt. They worked collectively and placed the wheelchair on its side so the man could breathe a little easier. One of the residents used a pocket knife to cut the seatbelt, and all three of them dragged the man out of the residence, saving his life. The other resident located the man's roommate inside the residence and rescued her from the burning house. Within a few minutes, the entire house was engulfed in flames. Both victims were transported to the hospital for smoke inhalation and further medical treatment. With no regard for his own safety, Officer Maurer went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to California Highway Patrol Officer Aaron Maurer. On August 12, 2019, at approximately 5.30 p.m., California Highway Patrol Officer Robert Paul was assisting California Highway Patrol Officer Andre Moyer Jr. with an enforcement stop when the suspect retrieved a rifle and opened fire without warning. Officer Moye was struck and critically wounded. With Officer Moye down, the suspect quickly turned his attention toward Officer Paul, who immediately drew his weapon and engaged the suspect. Officer Paul was able to broadcast Officer Down to the CHP Inland Communication Center. Riverside area CHP units immediately responded to the scene, as did units from the Riverside Police Department and Riverside County Sheriff's Department. Officer Paul sustained multiple gunshot wounds to both legs, but continued his courageous fight from the supine position, moving himself from left to right and keeping the suspect unsure of his location. The suspect advanced by taking cover behind vehicles. Although outmatched by the suspect's weapon, Officer Paul was able to actively engage the suspect in spite of his life-threatening injuries and to hold off the suspect until backup arrived. After several minutes, California Highway Patrol Officer Ryan Smith arrived on scene and the suspect immediately began firing rounds at his patrol vehicle. Officer Paul was able to exit his patrol vehicle and return fire. While actively engaging with the suspect, Officer Smith was able to locate and assist Officer Paul. Officer Smith grabbed Officer Paul's arms and pulled him out of the line of fire. Officer Smith sustained wounds to both legs but he was able to pull Officer Paul over 100 feet to safety. 
While Officer Smith pulled Officer Paul to safety, California Highway Patrol Officer Vince Mendoza arrived on scene and immediately engaged the suspect using a long rifle to draw fire away from Officer Smith and Officer Paul. For over 12 minutes, with the assistance of allied agencies, multiple rounds were fired at the suspect, who was fatally shot. During the gunfight, Riverside County Sheriff's Department deputies were able to evacuate Officer Paul from the scene via patrol vehicle and transport him to a nearby hospital. With the help of tourniquets applied while en route to the hospital and exceptional medical intervention at the hospital, Officer Paul survived the shooting and is expected to make a full recovery. With no regard for their own safety, Officers Mendoza, Paul, and Smith went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to California Highway Patrol Officers Vince Mendoza, Robert Paul, and Ryan Smith. On April 11, 2020, at approximately 10.28 a.m., California Highway Patrol Officer Michael Qualls responded to a call reporting a possibly suicidal man sitting on the three-foot concrete wall on the edge of the southbound Interstate 5 overcrossing at Garfield Avenue. Officer Qualls performed a traffic break and brought all the traffic to a halt. He observed the man sitting on the concrete wall with both feet hanging over the edge of the 24-foot drop onto Garfield Avenue. As Officer Qualls approached him, the man repositioned himself and used both hands to hang over Garfield Avenue. Officer Qualls ran towards him to prevent him from falling. By the time Officer Qualls reached the man, he was hanging over the edge by one hand. Officer Qualls courageously, and at great risk to himself, leaned over the edge of the concrete wall and grabbed the man's arm with both hands to prevent him from falling. Once Officer Qualls established a secure grip, he used his left hand to request that dispatch send additional officers. Officer Qualls continued to hang on to the man as he dangled over Garfield Avenue. A motorcyclist stopped to assist Officer Qualls and leaned over the concrete wall to grab the man's other arm. Together, Officer Qualls and the motorcyclist were able to pull the man back over the edge to safety. Officer Qualls placed the man in handcuffs, but he resisted, kicked, and moved sporadically. Three more officers arrived on scene and they worked together to restrain the man and keep him from harming himself. Officer Qualls transported the man to a nearby hospital. With no regard for his own safety, Officer Qualls went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to California Highway Patrol Officer Michael Qualls. The next award goes to an individual from Caltrans for his heroic efforts. On July 25th, 2018, Royce Heiner and coworker Stephen Hawthorne were traveling south on Interstate 5 towards Corning on an irrigation call. While en route, they came upon a van that was on fire. Heiner retrieved a fire extinguisher while Hawthorne called the incident into dispatch. When Heiner got to the vehicle, the owner was frantically trying to put the fire out. Heiner advised the man to get away from the vehicle and worked to free a dog still inside. While trying to remove the dog, the owner tried multiple times to get back into the vehicle for possessions. As Heiner was pulling the man from the vehicle the last time, it burst into flames. The owner panicked, thinking his children were still in the van. Heiner, along with a female off-duty first responder, kept the man from getting near the vehicle. His three children were safe and accounted for in a different bystander's vehicle, along with his wife. The man then went into a seizure. When deemed safe, Heiner and the first responder pulled the man further away from the burning vehicle. The fire then spread to nearby vegetation, threatening homes and prompting voluntary evacuations. Fire personnel arrived and extinguished the flames. Heiner was later treated for smoke inhalation at a nearby hospital. With no regard for his own safety, Mr. Heiner went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting this Silver Medal of Valor to Caltrans Highway Maintenance Lead Worker, Royce Heiner. Thank you, awardees, for all that you have done for California.